Rose here and this is a video on how I stalk myself or I guess if you want to be weird like me then how to stalk yourself there are four simple steps and you can do any or none of the above or all of them so the first one would just be the iCalendar on the iPhone or if you don't have an iPhone whatever the equivalent is on your phone if you don't have a phone and you're living in a technological wasteland just grab a paper calendar those are cool too so here is my little calendar. I put in everything I'm doing and the places and times. Then I can look back on the days and be like, oh, I was swimming in the pool at four. How fun. And then I also use iPhoto on the Mac, which I know not everyone has, but if you do, check it out because it's so awesome. You can sort all your photos together by events, locations, times, eras, I don't know, whatever you want to do. And if you want to know what places you've been to, there's a map for that. There's this giant map that has little pins on everywhere you've been and I sort of love it. The third thing is called Sleep Cycle. It looks like this. It's a little bit weird and I think you have to pay for it. But it offers all sorts of cool graphs on how you're sleeping. Ooh, bad. I'm not sleeping well, guys. Get worried. And that's fun because it's stuff you'd never be able to figure out on your own. And I think it's like 99 cents on the App Store, but if you have the money, then it's probably worth it because it checks out your heart rate and, like, how well you're sleeping, which probably isn't accurate, but... It's a good time. I mean, why not? The fourth one is called Reporter. This is where it gets really weird. This one asks you questions like throughout the day and when you wake up it will be like all sorts of different stuff. When you wake up I think it asks you how you slept and like it also records things in your environment so it can see the noise levels and the weather. And it's actually really cool. I have a fun time with this thing. And if you want to know, like, the answers to your questions, it has little graphs that show you how much you do things and how much you answer different answers. So, it's really fun and, like, you can figure out what you need to do more. For example, I think mine says I'm working 23% of the time and that could probably go up. But I'll work on it. So, those are the four simple steps. Check, oh, I do know how to count. Anyway, 